I was really pleasantly surprised uh, that a couple of the Christmas birthday gifts I ordered from Amazon had actually come earlier than anticipated, almost an entire month. In uh, both cases, they were a couple of figures I ordered, you know, imports from Japan, um, one of which I've actually done a figure showcase video on, uh, Revy from Black Lagoon, a Revoltech figure, which I was mildly disappointed with because uh, I hadn't been aware of the fact that, you know, as being a normal Revoltech, as opposed to a Revoltech Fräulein figure, this was actually only about five inches tall. Uh, smaller figure than the Revoltech Fräulein ones, and um, of which I have so far collected two. Also done, uh, you know, showcase videos on that being Ray Ayanami and Oscar Langley from Evangelion. Um, I love both those figures, but they're actually more the six or seven inch size, whereas the Revy one is, you know, a couple inches smaller and just overall a smaller figure. Uh, smaller piece and uh, but I'm still really happy with it you know I really love Revy from Black Lagoon love Black Lagoon and uh, the other figure I haven't as yet done any sort of showcase video on it's uh, Motoko Kusanagi a Gotokuro uh, you know superposable figure with uh, different faces and hands and accessories you can switch out and stuff like that and uh, had gotten that on a discount. May eventually do a figure showcase video on my main channel. Um, and I've even been thinking about pulling out some uh, older figures that I've gotten, like the VMF uh, Motoko Kusanagi, the very first import figure I ever bought, just under 100 bucks I spent for it at the time, because at the time I actually had some money. And uh, it was the only thing I had gotten like that year, you know. Um, and I've thought about maybe doing uh, like a whole showcase video on just all the ghost in the shell figures i've gotten from the little tiny mini ones to uh you know the bigger more deluxe figures that i've gotten and uh, as of the time of this recording i'm still very much uh highly anticipating a third one that i had ordered for uh you know my birthday and christmas which is more a staction piece it's more like a statuesque piece uh of Motoko Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell once again um can never have enough Motoko Kusanagi much like Superman figures I collect a lot of them and uh, I've been basically going after as many Ghost in the Shell Kusanagi figures as I can because she's my favorite character in almost anything ever but especially anime uh at least you know in the female role a very sort of uh empowering female role you know that kind of thing and um this particular new piece that i'm waiting for i ordered maybe just a couple of days after i made those initial orders of the revy figure and the other uh gotokuro figure and i've kind of been annoyed <laughs> because i got these other two figures they ended up arriving at my doorstep about a month earlier than the uh you know uh time for delivery that was uh said to be you know on amazon it was like somewhere mid to late january they were expecting because they are japanese import figures and um i was just highly shocked that i had both of them by the end of december when they were you know uh basically forecasting not until well into january and, uh, well, now here we are, and it's in January. It's only the first week of January, but uh, I think it's the 5th as of the time of this recording, 2015. And uh, I'm still waiting for that third piece, so I'm really hoping it's going to be here any day now. And um, then, <laughs> building off the Ghost in the Shell, uh, you know, collection that is ever-growing, there is now a new Figma coming out. I don't currently own any Figmas. Um, but you know, there's going to be one coming out in March of next year. I've already seen the, uh, you know, some like Tokyo game show or, or toy fair kind of thing, uh, from last year where they previewed the piece and, uh, it hadn't been painted or, you know, detailed that much or anything like that. Um, but I've seen subsequent imagery online of the figure and it looks all kinds of badass. The great thing about these figures is I'm not just getting the same thing over and over and over again as far as, uh, you know, the outfit Kusanagi wears or, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, the VMF figure, which was the first one I ever got, is in her sort of uh, <laughs> what people compare to lingerie, uh, you know, sort of outfit when she's working with Section 9 and uh, busting cyber crime heads and everything like that. Um, the Gotokuro figure I got is in her 
uh, standalone complex sneaking suit, which is uh, very much akin to like a Section 9 equivalent of what you saw Solid Snake wearing in the first Metal Gear Solid. Um, this new Figma figure will be kind of like, uh, you know, it, it's an outfit that kind of meshes both styles in one. Uh, she's got sort of the, you know, fatigue pants and then a uh, midsection thing, which is like kind of like a uh, a teddy in a way. Um, but then she's got like a leather, a leather over jacket thing. And it's just really cool. I love being able to get different designs as the character has been depicted in the anime standalone complex. And uh, but I've also got some figures outside of that. I got little mini ones that came with uh, the DVDs and uh, I've gotten some of the ones based on the actual Ghost in the Shell manga. Um, looking over on my shelf, I can't really read what the titles are from here. Um, but there was the original Ghost in the Shell and uh, there was like uh, Man Machine Interface and I forget what the other one was off the top of my head. But um, they these figures are based on the manga where Motoko Kusanagi as we know her is not quite the same character uh we find out that Motoko Aramaki who is I think the daughter of uh you know Kusanagi's former boss the chief Aramaki or the big ape as Bato calls him and um you know the the character designs are actually quite different than what you see in the anime and there were three of those put out I've gotten all three of them and I've actually left them in package uh just because you know, what the hell, until I have some way to display them like a glass case or something. I'm going to keep them protected. But, yeah, I love being able to occasionally find deals on these Japanese import figures, especially Ghost in the Shell stuff. And um, I'm just really eager. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of sitting here right now, as of the time of this recording, like, uh, when am I going to hear that knock at the door for that final piece that I ordered? And then I get to start it all over again in a couple months' time with uh, the hopefully pre-order next month of the Figma coming out in March. Um, yeah, so just random thoughts on the whole Ghost in the Shell figure thing and figure thing in general that I like getting. Uh, if I could only win the lottery, I'll tell you, I'd have a house full of them. And so the wait continues.